The biggest fan moment of the latest Red Dead Redemption 2 trailer was probably the reveal of a young John Marston with his famous facial scars freshly stitched. And while this is a very cool moment on its own, there's so many other details to unpack, especially now that we've had a chance to talk to the team at Rockstar and see the game in action. That moment with John is really great, because these few seconds encapsulate what I think we'll be seeing from the story as a whole. You see Arthur having to make what looks like a choice between his loyalty to Dutch and helping his friend John. We see a bunch of this, Dutch trying to convince Arthur and the rest of the gang to stay by his side, especially in these shots near the end of Dutch addressing the gang in what looks like a rundown cabin in the mountains. Everyone seems cold and anxious, and even Arthur is giving Dutch a bit of side-eye along with the rest of the crew. It's nice that we get to see more of the rest of the gang, too. We got bits and pieces of them in other trailers, but here a few of them get to step into the spotlight. Near the beginning, we see Arthur and Sadie Adler. She's another outlaw who we see more of later on, and she was featured in the last trailer as well, so it's a fair bet that she'll be pretty important in Arthur's story. We also get to hear a bit from this guy, Hosea Matthews. He says Dutch is his best friend, and so he might even be the very first member of the Vanderlyn gang, since they apparently met when trying to rob each other. I also want to point out that while some folks might be complaining that this wasn't a typical gameplay trailer, there's actually a ton of gameplay in it. This whole campfire sequence, for instance, is in-engine gameplay running on a base model PlayStation 4. And neither last nor least, we're introduced to Micah Bell. And while we don't know much about him beyond his name, he seems to be some sort of foil to Arthur. He's apparently a pretty important member of the team, though, since we see him in a few key scenes, including this opening train robbery, where I just want to point out that it looks like the train is armored. You can see the steel or iron construction of the car and the metal window coverings and what looks like a gun loop over here, meaning that the train heists will probably be a lot more involved than what we saw in the last game. You can also spot Micah in the back of this group shot, where we get a good look at the rest of the gang as well. I can't put a name to every face, but I know we've got Javier Escuela, who you'll recognize if you played the last one. I don't know who this lady is, but here in the front we've got Charles Smith. Next to him is a guy named Lenny, then Hosea, Dutch, Arthur, John, and Sadie. Next to her is Pearson, he's the camp cook. You can see him in that other group shot near the end as well. Also, let's take a minute and notice that that second group shot has a lot less people in it. That's probably not a good sign. Next to Pearson is Bill Williamson, also from the first game, and then there's this lady. I don't know who that is, but she's got red hair. We see other members of the gang not in this shot, including Uncle, who's living with John in 1912, as well as this guy, Sean McCullough. If you can't tell from the bright red hair and the beard, he's very Irish. You might also recognize someone not in Dutch's gang. In that big group scene next to this red-vested stranger that Lenny's got his gun on is this guy, Edgar Ross, one of the Bureau agents strong-arming John in the original Red Dead Redemption. The FBI wasn't founded until the early 1900s, so it's a safe bet that Ross and this other guy are some sort of law enforcement, maybe the Pinkertons or the U.S. Marshals. We also get another really good look at some of the different locales we'll be seeing. Not only the snowy mountains, but a few different towns and cities. You have to look hard in this shot to catch the motion, but there's a streetcar passing by outside. Given that we've also seen a swampy area and what looks like a plantation house in other trailers, I think that solidifies that we'll be seeing a New Orleans-esque southern city. We also get a look at what could be an old Red Dead location. This looks a lot like the hotel in Blackwater. We know the story starts with a job gone wrong there, so it's not unthinkable to say we might be going back to at least a few parts of West Elizabeth. Maybe that means that this shot of the horse-breaking mission is in the Great Plains area where John settles down. There's so, so much more to unpack from what we saw in our demo. We visited this town, Valentine, for instance, and robbed this bank with Lenny here and dodged this train. So be sure to check out our exclusive first look, and for all your other Red Dead needs, you're already in the right place, IGN.